Hi, I'm Sam, this is Martin, and we're demonstrating evaporation. We just put this one down, and we just put dirt there and put water in it, and that made mud, obviously. And then we just put mud down earlier, and it evaporated into the air. Oh, okay, me and my partner, Jennifer, are doing condensation. Um, so what we're going to do is we have a cup inside the bowl of water um, and we put a plastic thing over it and then what we want to do is put the ice cube over, over the cup and what the hot water does is it comes up, it rises to the top and it melts the ice cube and then the water should fall into the cup. Yeah. So when it's all melted, the water, there should be water in the cup. Hi, my name is Ashton and this is Haley. We studied precipitation. Precipitation is water that falls after it has been evaporated and clouds get too heavy in the form of hail, sleet, rain, or snow. Hi, I'm Zeke, this is Crystal, and this is Bradley. Today, we are going to tell you how collection works on the in the water cycle. So, we take this cup, which is gonna act as rain, and then they pour the water into it, and it rains down, and this big area is the ocean, and this you can't really see, this spot right here is a lake or a river. So um, people can affect uh, collection by like building houses or throwing trash into the uh, streams or ponds or lakes and stuff like that because it because the uh, if you take one thing out of the water cycle, it can be all jacked up. So. That's part of the Hi, I'm Wyatt. And I'm Aiden. And we're going to show you how runoff works. Basically, how it starts off is there is a river, and then it, and there's dirt. And then it rains, so it, the dirt, the water slides down off the dirt, and it rains into the stream. It runs off the dirt into the street. And, and, uh, water ha and humans have an effect on the water cycle because sometimes it's acid rain, which goes into the river, which pollutes our water supply, which we drink. Hi, um, I'm Morgan and this is Colin and Cotter and we are doing infiltration for our water cycle experiment. And what we did is we had different uh, materials and we are going to see how it infiltrates and how much infiltrates into them. And infiltration, it affects the water cycle or humans can affect infiltration by paved roads, and other hard surface grounds because it causes it not to infiltrate but just to run off into lakes or streams and stuff like that. So for our first um, experiment, we're doing sand. Now we'll put it in there and see if it will infiltrate and how much infiltrate. Okay, so these are the results of the infiltrated um, water. And for sand, um, we made a prediction that it would go through and it did. And 50 milliliters of water went through. And for the soil, 50, 75 milliliters went through. Then for the small rock, 100. And for the wood chips, 125. And for the big rock, also 125.
And those are the results of the infiltrated water through the material. Um, <clears throat> I am Owen and this is my partner Selena and we are doing infiltration. Infiltration is when during precipitation plants and vegetation stop water from hitting the ground. And humans affect this because we can grow plants and stuff and that contributes to in <clears throat> interception. And this is precipitation hitting the leaf and partially stopping it from hitting the ground. Okay. Oh, I'm Jamie. Uh, I'm my Paige. Name, my name is Alex. And this is discharge from the water cycle. So what we have here is a whole bunch of different layers of different things. And what discharge basically is, is water, when it rains, it flows through and goes underwater, makes underwater lakes, and sometimes even can go into the ocean. So this is, it looks like it's raining, and it might be able to get all the way under into the very bottom layer. Yes, and so discharge is basically water coming down going from layer to layer all the way down until it makes oceans or lakes rivers and basically just helps us gain water and sometimes it can even take millions of years to get out hi my name's tim and this is my friend andrew and today we're gonna show how percolation works As you can see, it's um, discharging into here, but and also it's percolating into here. See those drops? That's what percolation is when and water goes and sinks in and, and creates underground aquifers. And but it can also just discharge this way and make into lakes that are above ground, like this. Hi, I'm Caleb. Hello, I'm Carolina. Hi, I'm Marina. And we're doing transpiration in the water cycle. So transpiration is the process of, I mean, the process by which moisture is carried through the plants from, from the roots to small pores on the underside of the leaves, where it changes to vapor and is released to the atmosphere and use this as rain. And I'll explain what happens. So, okay. the rain falls into the soil in the roots to give the plant moisture. Then it travels through the plant to give the plant nutrients. And then the sun rays reflect off, reflect, wait, reflect off of the plant to produce vapor. And then the vapor goes back into the sky and is recreated as rain.